thoughts on tonight's game, Lo? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's tough to, I don't know when we conceded, but it's pretty hard, far into the second half. So I think it's obviously disappointing. Um, I thought we had some decent chances um, and I thought collectively as a, as a block, we defended really well um, for large portions of times. I know they had a lot of possession, so that's hard to do for a lot of time. Um, but I think we have to finish our chances and we have to create, in my, in my opinion, more, a bit more quality in the final third. Questions? Go ahead, yeah. Lauren, you mentioned just finishing a little bit better in the final third. When you go against teams that are in the top three or four of the league, is the margin for error really that thin in a game like this when you're playing an opponent of that caliber? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think at this level, the margin for error is pretty small. Um, and it's the little details that that make the difference. It's that the details are what separate good team from great teams and the bottom from the top. Um, so I think, you know, Katie makes three saves and at some point we got to clear them. Um, but I think that, you know, it's the little details of getting on the right side of players, um, clearing the ball, uh, you know, at this level, people are, you know, girls are so good that it's it's paramount that you're doing the little things right. And when you talk about maybe creating more quality on the attack, it, what do you think goes into that? Is it just uh, being more aggressive up top, passing a little bit better? Just what do you see? Yeah, I think we talked about at halftime that we needed a bit more movement. Um, I think the, the more movement you have and the earlier it is, the easier for, you know, the people behind playing balls in or um, it's just harder to track, especially as a, a defensive line. If you watch North Carolina, they're moving off each other so much that it's really hard to, to kind of pick up players and, and watch through the lines because there's so much going on in front of you. So I think for us, it's just like moving off of each other and, and, and supporting in the in the final third. And also just I think we were taking shots from outside the 18 at times. And I think it's like, can we get quality further in the box? Because um, those will, you know, uh, amount to better shots and, and better chances. I think you guys coming into this were, I want to say, maybe three points behind Gotham for that that sixth and final playoff spot. You had great form coming into this one. How do you try or like what is the message, I guess, to just try and bounce back to keep up in that race and, and get back to it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just taking, you know, one game at a time. Obviously, this is a disappointment, but that doesn't mean we can't learn from it. And I think that, you know, the only way to continually get better is to just to look at, you know, what we can improve from and what good things came out of this game. And I think that <laughs> this this uh, this league moves too fast to just dwell on things and, you know, live in, in the past game. So I think we, we just have to focus on the next one. And by no means are we out of it. And I think we all know that. And we know that we're a team. We're confident in that. It's just like, you know, again, it's the details. So I think if we can clear those up. We have a great shot. And then the last one for me, it's kind of an obvious one. You guys are about to lose some key pieces to the World Cup. Just how do you try and manage that? And what's the message to the team when you guys have shown good depth this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, what an achievement for our girls going to the World Cup. And I think I speak for everyone when I say we're so proud of them and we're so excited to watch, you know, a bazillion countries uh, at the World Cup. But, um, yeah, I think that the cool thing about this group is that we're strength in numbers. And I think that each person coming in has a different strength and, and it's going to be fun to, you know, kind of figure that out. But I think that we've proven that we're strong as a group, uh, regardless of who comes in. So I think it will be really interesting and it'll be good for the, um, for some other people to show their strengths and, you know, participate and, uh, come into the team and show what they got. Thanks, Lauren. John, go ahead. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Logan, obviously North Carolina is one of the best teams in the league, but this is the second time you've been defeated by them this year, very close. So what do you think has been the difference? Are, has there been similarities in the two matches, in your opinion? Is it fine margins? What do you think it's been that you haven't been able to beat them? Yeah, I mean, I think clearly North Carolina is a very possession dominant team. And so I think that in transition was where we really needed to break them down. Um, and I thought we had a couple of really decent moments, but again, I think, like I said before, it just comes down to details. Um, and I thought we honestly held them to, I didn't think they created a ton of chances. There's a few, um, and it's it obviously it's, it's unfortunate to concede in, you know, the waning minutes of the second half. But I think that again, it's the details, it's the little things that, you know, make a big difference at this level. So I think that's the most important piece for us. Anything else for Lauren? 
All right. Thank you, Lauren.